Okay, this is the look, <coughs> excuse me, this is the look at the Dragon Ball Z Scatter. Uh, basically, this is an acrylic plate that uh, my friend Jessica, or uh, excuse me, Quailkin, or I don't know, it's, I think her YouTube name is the Feathered One or Quailkin, I don't know, I'll double check and put the links below. Uh, she did the uh, sandblasting on the front of the plate, uh, it's basically a taped up process and you basically, literally just blast sand at things. Uh, to get the gradation done and the wiring circuitry. So if I can flip it over and get you guys a look at the inside. It's basically underneath here there's two uh, batteries. A battery cells for the actual switch. The switch is on this side. The mounting plate is matting board. I like using that for a lot of my projects. And it just runs to a LED light that's actually drilled into the plate and the actual cell is just uh, captured in with a piece of matting board on the back and then this is all basically hot to glued together. The foam is basically what gets going to be glued uh, to Nappa's head uh, just because, because the... Um, front weight of the uh, glass plate was a little bit uh, too top heavy. Um, this is the second prototype that we actually made up. Uh, and we had some issues uh, with the piece actually just falling forward because in a sense it has to hang like this and gravity on planet Earth sucks. I mean that wholeheartedly. But yeah, uh, so we're basically going to be spirit gumming all of this to uh, David's head. Uh, his ear is going to go in the center here, uh, maybe fold it up or something like that, I don't know. Uh, basically, the foam is just gives an extra coverage area um, that for spirit gum to work. Uh, if it's not uh, too much to if it's too much to hold, I'm going to try uh, prosthetic adhesive and maybe fashion tape or try to get some medical adhesive. Uh, on the inside here, the button, this is all clothed over, I just painted it up and then added a little bit of um, stuffing. The button itself is right here on the center, but it, this just gives it an extra plating to hide the inner workings. Uh, this in here is hollow, um, it's just a matting board casing that's on a hexagonal pattern that I cut out. This is, I believe, half of an inch uh, thick in a uh, width around the border. And yeah, it's literally just uh, hot gluing everything together. Uh, the most heavy, the heaviest thing about this thing is obviously the plate. Uh, but overall, when this gets on David's face, it's going to add a, a little bit of an extra more touch to it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm debating whether or not I want to seal off the bottom. I might just add a little bit for comfort purposes. That way when people are taking pictures, if anybody takes a picture from the bottom of this, uh, they may or may not be able to see the underworkings. But uh, this is so close to his face, I'm wondering if it's really going to matter. Um, but yeah, their second attempt at the scatter. Uh, major thank you to Mike Burns, uh, he's the guy who actually helped me, uh, make my Taukaka lights the first time around. Uh, if you remember seeing me at OhioCon, uh, 10 and 11. And, yep, that's basically it. Cannot wait to hear all the Vegeta, what's the scatter say about his power level. It's over 9,000. Yeah, 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 get it out now while you still can. 